Indu has started the testing phase of indigenous quartz nose cone developed for the Tejas Mark II program. The quartz nose cone is currently undergoing mandatory testing procedures, after which the production and supply of these nose cones will be transitioned to Indian private sector companies. Apart from 120 Tejas Mark II, India will also integrate indigenously developed quartz nose cone on the additional 100 Tejas Mark I aircraft. The Indian Air Force has started the groundwork to procure six more Netra Mark I airborne early warning and control system worth $1 billion, that is based on the Brazilian Embraer aircraft. The DRDO and Air Force officials have already started looking for sources to acquire the ERJ-145 aircraft in the secondary market, as they are no longer in production, that will later be modified to carry the radar after modification. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment is developing flight control system test facilities for both manned and unmanned aircraft programs, as testing these systems is a critical step in ensuring the safety and performance. Aeronautical development establishment is seeking partners for the design manufacturing assembly integration and certification of FCS test facilities. Boeing is actively considering a follow-on order from the Indian Navy for six P-8I aircraft. Boeing officials have said that the existing 12 P-8I aircraft has already made substantial contributions to the Indian economy amounting to $1.7 billion, and the additional order for six aircraft is expected to increase investments by approximately $1.5 billion. The Indian Navy has signed a 2.15 crore rupees contract with Radom Technologies for the procurement of artificial intelligence in aircraft health monitoring. By integrating artificial intelligence, the Navy aims to enhance its aircraft maintenance practices, ensuring that these assets remain in optimal condition. Hindustan Aeronautics has received acceptance of necessity from the Ministry of Defence for a comprehensive upgrade of 60 Dornier 228 aircraft of the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy, that includes cockpit and avionics systems, flight management system, synthetic vision system, terrain awareness and warning system, advanced radios, and a number of interfaces and sensors. An Indian Army contingent will be participating in 19th edition of Indo-US Joint Military Exercise at Fort Wainwright in Alaska from 25 September to 8 October. The exercise will see the employment of the Coalition Integrated Battle Group in the mountain and extreme climatic conditions, holy born operations, and validate the integrated surveillance grid and logistics during operations. The navies of India and Singapore have started the 30th edition of Simbex exercise, in which the Indian Navy has deployed its P-8I aircraft in addition with INS Ranvijay destroyer, INS Kavarati anti-submarine warfare corvette and INS Sindhu Keshri diesel electric submarine. The exercise will involve complex and advanced air defense exercises, gunnery firings, tactical maneuvers, anti-submarine exercises and other maritime operations. Thank <laughs> you.